Hey guys, so this time let's work a little bit more on QC, quantitative comparison. So last time we talked about it in general, I want to do, be more specific this time, but let's start back with the big ideas. For one, don't waste your time computing. I just want to get to the answer as quickly as possible. It's not about computation, it's actually about making things look similar. So let's run this game. On the left hand side, it'd be obvious, this guy's bigger over here, right? But at the same time, he's smaller on this side. Everyone agree? But instead of running the computation, let me see if I can make them look as similar as possible to begin with. So on this side, if I compare these two, we're just off by one. So why don't I write it like this? So these guys at least look a little bit more alike. If I play the same game on the other side, what do I end up getting? And you guys agree, at least superficially, they look a little closer to one another, right? And then at this point, if I distribute, you're actually going to be doing this faster than I can write on the board. But let's run this all the way out. So if I distribute this way, 635 times 461, I guess I'll just write it like this. 421, my bad. And 635 times 1, obviously, pretty straightforward. Let's run the same computation this way. Now it's a piece of cake, right? If I look on the guy on the left, this guy looks exactly like who? Like this guy on the right. Kill them from both sides. Now it's an easy comparison. 635 versus 421. Hopefully we're comfortable with left side being bigger. 